you all are doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video and share it with your friends. Happy Thursday to each and every one of you. Now, what the Lord has laid on my heart was the situation with Stephen Crowder. Now, in case you all, I've, I've spoken about him before. In case you all don't know who this gentleman is, he's also a uh, from Blaze TV, a conservative talk show person and he was suspended from YouTube. Now, as you all know, I've already got the warning from YouTube and uh, I, that's why I try to be careful about the titles that I emphasize in my videos. I didn't think I would be you know, flagged for and warned for the January 6th incident when we really don't have the full story about that yet they attacked me for, for, for it but it is what it is and not only that uh, the other craziness that's going on uh, they're trying to discriminate against uh, this reverse racism with white people uh, in the education system, trying to eliminate uh, white people and, you know, firing them first and crap like that. And you know what? Um, I'm, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. And there aren't people that will dislike someone based on melanated content, as Charlie Kirk would say. But it goes the other way around as well. It's, not, it's just like not me being a victim. It just is what it is. Uh, it, <laughs> but I couldn't prove it. And I experienced this. And this was all about, about affirmative action. And honestly, white women are number one to advance in this. Am I jealous of white women? Absolutely not. 15 years of teaching, I learned more from white people to advance my career than any person of color. There, there were a few Asians that I, I learned from as well, but compared to the black and brown nonsense, blacks and Mexicans and all that, I didn't learn a lot with them. They, they just wanted to talk about victimization. And when I tried to, there, there's one there's one example about this. See, I really didn't want to do a video, but I'm, I'm digressing all over the place. I really didn't want to do a video and waste my time on, a, on this woke nonsense about eliminating white people in the education system. Because believe it or not, 83% of educators in our public school system are white women. Let's just keep it real. Let's get real. Just let, let's just keep it real. I'm just saying that. I mean, I don't have anything against white a lot of my subscribers and there's one that I love very much from South Carolina. I'm not gonna expose her name, but I love her very much as my dear sister. A lot of um, white w women are my dear sisters in Christ. I love them very much. However, we still live in a fallen world where we have to go through this nonsense. The wokeness of firing them and eliminating them is not the answer, because you know what's gonna what's gonna happen. <laughs> the education the education system is gonna go down tremendously again. And I do admit, I. Just like I prefer males, uh, male bosses over female. I'm just being honest with you. And I'm not the only woman that thinks this way. I prefer males over female bosses. Do I want to choose? When it comes to the workplace and all this, Based on my experience, 
after over, um, let's say, nearly 20 years of experience in the education system, and it wasn't even public school, I learned more from my white counterparts than people of color, again, unless they were Asian. Now, a lot of black people won't admit this, even though you depend on them for your livelihood, believe it or not. So and you can talk behind white people's back all you want to, but you still depend on them. Even clean drinking water. Candace Owens herself said, I cannot want to be wealthy, but yet hate the rich. So how can you despise a group of people where you're depending your resources on? Again, something as simple as clean water. So my point, I, I digressed it a lot. But the point that uh, Steven Crowder I don't follow him tremendously. I'm not a big fan of Blaze TV. I really, I'm really not. I just, you know, click on a YouTube video and just watch it and all that. But to suspend this guy because you disagree with what he liked, what he said, is a problem. And that's why I always give you guys my backup channel in Rumble because this is how I started, really. And God bless you people that got me over 2,000 su subscribers within weeks. But I say one wrong thing, like the January 6th thing, because I, I, I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm on a warning. I, I was already banned from YouTube before. But with this new account, I have a warning. And they told me two suspensions, like two... Uh, additional strikes. It's like my favorite sport, baseball. Three strikes, you're out. Okay, I'm out. I'm just gonna create another YouTube channel. That's why I'm I'm discreet about how I entitle entitle excuse me my videos. So it's unfortunate what happened to this fella. Again, um, he's going to continue. He's still going to have his platform. I mean, I think he starts in the morning. And he has a three-hour type of deal going on. So, he, I mean, he's fine in the state that he's in. But if they suspend him again, he's just going to create another. He's just going to create another channel. That's all I'm saying. And the same that happened to Jordan Peterson, Tucker Carlson, Charlie Kirk, when they try to suspend these people from social media, and they always bounce back. Because we're blessed in a country where you cannot censor a person based on the First Amendment. And that's the freedom we have. Christina Red Soul, pray for our nation, pray for our brothers and sisters on the persecuted church. Uh, if you want to get uh, one of these wristbands and to support these brothers and sisters, just donate $25 on their website. It's called the Voice of the Monitors.org. I think it's V O W.org. Yeah, I've also donated a few of these at the church I go to, uh, and it's uh, in prison with them. I mean, we have no idea because we we are blessed with the freedoms that we have in this country. Not saying that the Lord won't use persecution in this country to separate the wheats and the tares. All right? So I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there. Okay? Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you super soon.